Hey guys, Dan A from DanceTube.tv, and it's that time of the month again. It's Loot Crate versus Nerd Block versus Geek Fuel for the month of February 2016. Now, I want to mention something to you guys. Over on my second channel, Dan's Tube, spelt with a two, I will be hosting giveaways. I have random other videos over there. I've got a taste test for a new KFC burger as well. So make sure to go over there and check that out. I will have some sort of annotation on the screen as well as a link in the description to check it out. So make sure to go over there and subscribe. But I'm going to jump in into Loot Crate for the month of February 2016. Here is the Loot Crate magazine. As you can see, February 2016, the theme this month is dead. I love the artwork on the front here. The Loot Crate magazine is always filled with fun facts, information, and some information about what we're going to get this month, as well as some other random things in there as well. With the release of Deadpool being such a massive thing in February, and I've also noticed that it's still playing in the movies at the moment, which is just a testament to how well it's going, and how much people are really enjoying it. So this is a Deadpool figurine here. It's a Q fig and it is a Loot Crate exclusive. This is actually a really cool figurine. So you have a flat platform here so you can chuck it anywhere basically. You have an explosion behind Deadpool and then you have Deadpool getting blown into the foreground. He has his two swords outwards. Um, he also has grenades on his belt here. He has his Deadpool symbol on the belt there. An amazing design on the actual Deadpool character here. I really like this. This is a cool figurine. That's definitely going up on the shelf behind me. I really like how Loot Crate have updated their pins now. They come on this cardboard cutout here. It says Loot Pins, February 2016, dead. We have a really cool pin this month. I don't actually collect these, even though I really should get a book or something to put them all in, especially since they've started really improving the production on their pins. This is actually really cool. It's a zombified, um, I have no idea what that is, but it's something zombified on some sort of platform. Very cool pin. Have no idea what it is. Let me know in the comments below. All right, so we got a red shirt, and I'm thinking it's going to be Deadpool, seeing as February was such a big month for Deadpool. All right, so that's a pretty cool Deadpool shirt. We have Deadpool hanging upside down, and it says tacos? Question mark. That's pretty cool. I don't mind that shirt. Um, nice print. I actually like the red. It's a nice red. I think that'll look really good on. And um, yeah, I love Deadpool, so I can't complain about that. So far, we are going along with the dead theme very well. We've had a few Deadpool items. We now have a Walking Dead construction set. I got a character here, but I have no idea who it is because I don't watch the show. So pretty cool. I'll open it up and we'll see what it looks like. Uh, it looks like it just comes in separate parts. A lot of detail on the head there. I don't actually know who this is though, so I can't help you out guys. But it just comes in separate parts, uh, you click them in, and you're ready to go. My girlfriend is really into The Walking Dead, so I will give this little figurine to her. It's a cool little figurine, a lot of detail, very simple to put together. Um, the head actually looks kind of weird on, it looks like he has no neck at all. I have no idea who this character is, I'm really sorry guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below of this little figurine though. And also let me know who the hell this is, I would love to know. Uh, the little platform's pretty stable, and it's a nice mold. They've done a great job with this little figurine here. This is the final item from Loot Crate, it is from The Walking Dead. And this is Soap on a Rope, Daryl's Walker Ear Necklace. So again, I haven't watched the show, I have no reference, but I'm assuming he has ears around his neck in the form of a necklace. And this is just four different individual soaps that have been formed into a necklace. So really cool. How creepy would that be to just be wearing that while you're in the shower? The soap smells all right, I guess. Kind of smells weird, but I guess it's more of a novelty thing to have ears on a rope. That's super cool. And uh, again, a nice touch from Loot Crate. That is the end though of Loot Crate. And as you can see, they always put a lot of detail into their box there. Pretty nice box this month. Uh, you can always unfold it and set it up as some sort of stage or set to play along with your little figurines. Um, but really cool. Watch, listen, play, share. Enjoy more of Dead. So you have the lootcrate.com forward slash experience. And I'm guessing there's some sort of experience over there that you guys can enjoy as the name implies. But that's it, that is Loot Crate for February 2016. We are moving on to Geek Fuel now and I love the initial box opening for Geek Fuel. I love that little touch there. They have paper that covers up all of the items, so it's even more of a mystery. This is going to be a Deadpool month for February. So here is the Geek Fuel magazine. We have Deadpool on the front, and they don't normally give us a theme. Um, I'm guessing it's going to be relating to Deadpool, but this is issue 13, February 2016. Um, they have some little information down the side here to tell you basically what's going to be going on in the magazine and maybe some different facts and stuff, but they never really give us a theme, but that's fine, you know. 
we get some information in here, we get the January unboxing videos. I would love to be featured in here, but I always take so long to upload my videos. Um, some other random things in here. And it is a nice little touch to have a magazine with some more information. We always get a cardboard cutout from Geek Fuel, just detailing everything in this month. And I do like their cardboard cutout, there's a lot of information on here, and it's always nice to read what you actually got. We got a winter hat here, which is pretty cool because it's coming up to winter in Australia. So this is really nice. Um, it's a pretty out there hat, or cap. Really colourful, I like the design on it. This is Shiny Winter Cap. I don't actually know what this is from, but based on the description here, I think this is from some sort of show or movie. You have to let me know in the comments below. Um, but this looks like a nice hat. This is a really cool touch. So the t-shirt actually comes in a burrito style wrap here. As you can see, it's wrapped in L-foil. You have the Deadpool logo here. And it has a little love heart, seeing as this was a February release for Valentine's Day. Very romantic movie. But I love the design of this. This actually made me smile. This is actually really tightly packed. It feels like a burrito or something else, I guess. Um, but yeah, this is a t-shirt wrapped up as a burrito. Let's get into it. I didn't want to ruin this, but come on, I've got to get into the t-shirt somehow. There we go. Ooh. It is a clean black t-shirt. And it says, I love chimichangas. That is so cool, guys. Simple, elegant, and it pops if you're a Deadpool fan. You're gonna know that if you see me walking on the street, you're gonna go, yeah, this guy likes Deadpool, or this guy likes chimichangas. That's a really cool shirt. Not too in your face. The Loot Crate shirt was all in your face. It was like, this is Deadpool this month. This is more of a casual look. I love the way they packaged it. Nothing on the back, nice black shirt, clean and I'm really happy with that one, that's cool. This here seems to be an Elliot Quest Sour Candy Puzzle Tin. So it has a puzzle, you have the balls on there, you gotta align them with the different cutouts, but it also has Sour Candy in there. Um, pretty cool design, it looks like a nice side-scrolling like puzzle or adventure game. Um, pretty cool little idea, and the tin is of a high quality as well. Let's test out these Sour Candies. I wonder how sour these candies are. Let's try. We'll just put a massive handful there. Mmm. Quite sherbety at first. You can store some other stuff in here if you'd like after you finish with the candy. That is actually a really cool bottle nose, bo bottle nose dolphin. When you bite into these sour candies, they actually are pretty sour. But moving on to the next item, another Deadpool item. See the movie. It says this is a bottle opener. Before, I called it a bottle nose dolphin. Call it whatever you want, guys. Definitely not a bottle nose dolphin, though. This is cool. This is a little bottle opener. Nice and subtle. It's got a lot of weight to it. It's metal. It doesn't have a spot to attach it to your keys, which sucks. But it does have a cool design and a subtle little bottle opener on the back there. Very cool. I like this bottle nose dolphin. This is a 3D magnet from Geek Fuel. This is their logo here. And it's actually pretty cool because certain sections are raised, certain sections are lowered. And it gives you that kind of appeal that it is a 3D magnet. I actually don't mind this, this is pretty cool. And Geek Fuel have a really cool logo, nice and smiley and happy. So that's pretty cool, and I've chucked that in there as just an additional thing. We still have two items though, so Geek Fuel are killing it. I'm loving this month from Geek Fuel. I mentioned Elliot Quest before, and it looks like it's a game, so pretty cool guys. Maybe an indie game, I haven't heard of it before. $10 in value, Elliot Quest, downloadable game, and Candy Puzzle. So it was kind of a dual pack from the team at Elliot Quest. This is a redeemable code. Down the bottom here it says Windows, Apple, and Steam. So I've got the code on the back there and a little bit of a description about the game. Definitely keen to check this out. This is something that I really do love about Geek Fuel. A shirt and a game. That is great value for money. And I've actually been enjoying the games that I've been downloading from Geek Fuel. So again, I'm really excited to check this one out. The final item is the Retro Magazine. This is really cool. I love the design of this. You have Leia on the front there. She's playing, by the looks of it, a custom Game Boy. Um, we have the Death Star in the background there. We have all these memorabilia pieces down here. There's a lot of detail in this art piece here. I actually really just like the cover. That's so cool. There's also Boba Fett in the background. Um, and this is really cool. I like that. And it's just a gaming magazine for all of you video game fans out there, which I'm sure you are if you're watching this video. Lots of cool stuff in here, and again, great value for money. Geek Fuel definitely killed it this month. I'm preferring Geek Fuel to Loot Crate so far, but let's see what Nerdblock have to offer. Moving on to Nerdblock now, these guys are going to have to smash it out of the park to even compete with Geek Fuel. I loved Geek Fuel. Let me know in the comments below though, who won for you this month? 
Um, it's always exciting to see these three boxes, they are always super competitive. Let's move on to Nerdblock and see what they have to offer for February 2016. I couldn't even say February. Sometimes Nerdblock get a little bit carried away with their cardboard cutouts. This time they haven't been too bad, they've just given us a teaser to let us know what to expect from next month. And then we also have the cardboard cutout here to detail everything in this month. The first item is a t-shirt, a nice black t-shirt. And look at that, another Deadpool inspired t-shirt. Wilson's Mercenary Services since 1991. Down the bottom here it says, Will Kill for Tacos. That's really cool. Um, Deadpool inspired thing. Um, he does have mercenaries in his kind of universe, so I don't know if that's getting at the mercenaries or whether this is meant to be Deadpool. But I love the design of this, I love how half of his face is like burnt off. And then you can see the other half of his face is fine and he's just kind of smiling. Really creepy, I love that shirt. And again, another out there Deadpool shirt. So really cool, I like this one. Alright, so check out this oven glove. What? How cool is that? This is a really cool oven glove. It just says oven glove. It's got like a controller here, connected up to the fingers. I wish the design was on both sides, but that's still really cool, I like that. <laughs> how sweet is that? Oven glove, how random. But useful, you know, everyone needs an oven glove. You're always cooking in an oven, so why not? We have a Marvel official here. This is a Deadpool plush. I don't actually like the design of this plush. He doesn't have that little additional bit of fabric that hangs over the back of his head, which is known from the Deadpool universe. He does have his two swords on the back, but the design of this is kind of weird. He even has like an indented chin line here. I don't know, it's a cute little plush, but it just doesn't seem too realistic in my opinion. Um, it's also very stiff as well. But Deadpool is amazing, so this is going to go up somewhere. Um, yeah, but I would have liked to have seen something a little bit more realistic and detailed from Nerdblock. Alright then, so this is pretty cool guys. Batman Glow in the Dark Mug. It's just got the logo there. Thirsty? Reach for the Bat logo. That's really cool. And then on the back here it also says, Take a break from saving the world. That is actually a really nice mug. I love the black offsetting with this white logo here, which I assume will go a green colour when it is in its Glow in the Dark mode. Really simple mug, I like that. I like the black offsetting with the logo, it really pops. A simple little mug, but definitely well done here. This is really cool guys. So this is a super wine stopper. We have the one up here, and this is actually pretty cool. What a nice idea. Good job Nerdblock, a wine stopper, also an oven mitt, which is really cool. Um, nice and practical from Nerdblock this month. But for me, the winner is Geek Fuel guys. I loved Geek Fuel, I loved the shirt. I love the uh, bottle opener, the Deadpool bottle opener, the hat was cool, the retro magazine was cool, and I also got a game as well, so Geek Fuel got it for me this month. Let me know in the comments below who won for you, but remember guys, I do have some awesome content over on my second channel, Dan's Tube with a 2. I'm going to be hosting giveaways and some other random things over there like taste test videos, um, gameplay videos, some other random things, so make sure to go over and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments below of this video, who won it for you this month guys. But that's the end. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to have a fantastic day and peace out, guys.